course that we are offering. So before we start, let me just give you an overview first about the school. Okay, so who is ICSA? So that you'll have a short background about the school. What is our mission? Ayan. So let me just introduce you first on who is ICSA. Okay. So ICSA actually is the acronym for our school, which is International Institute of Computer Science and Administration. So it is an academic heritage that can be tracked back since 2001 or 2001. So it was established during that year. So our institution is determined to continue striving hard for arranging and ensuring opportunities to students for educational and personal uh, development through learning. And so the mission po of our division of our school is to be uh, internationally recognized as a premier information technology and administration learning institution that are engaged in the discovery of knowledge, integration, and their applications with global perspective that educates through innovative, responsive, and career-oriented program. And our mission is to commit, uh, we are committed to the provision of quality education, which emphasizes a high academic expectation in the field of information technology and administration to provide the students, the knowledge and skills needed to succeed as an individual and as a professional. Okay, so we have, of, of course, um, additional mission to promote academic excellence and provide opportunity to enhance student skills that will empower them to reach their potential, to provide a career-oriented program with primary focus on those programs that are innovative and responsive to the needs of students and employees, as I mean employers, ensure to the highest quality of learning, teaching, and professional practice in the uh, technologically enabled environment. And of course, to uh, contribute to the advancement of IT. Okay. So, um, yes, Ms. Almazan, you're raising for your hand. Any question? naka raise hand po yung ano nyo, yung icon ng ano nyo. Miss Mel, Mel G. V. Almazan, meron po ba kayong katanungan? Naka-raise hand po kayo. Um, pakialis po yung audio ninyo kung wala kayong naririnig. Try nyo pong mag-rejoin. Ayan. How about the others? Audible po ba tayo? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ayan. Okay. So, Hi. Ayan. Okay. So, the question is, of course, you have your reason. Why did you uh, attend this orientation, right? For sure, everybody wants to be a caregiver. In the first place, why do you want to be a caregiver? Okay. So, why did you decide to enroll or to join an orientation? And you are planning to start a course. Um that is a caregiver course, diba? For sure, you have a reason why. Okay, may I know from some of the um participants why you have joined the orientation or why you have decided to like to get a course that is caregiver? Bakit po tayo nag-enroll or bakit may plano tayo mag-enroll? Anyone po from the group? Bakit po tayo nandito? Bakit tayo nag-join? Bakit kayo nag-decide na uh, mag-enroll sa course na to? Si Miss, ano, wala kasing pangalan eh. Yung, ito for sure, naka-enroll na siya. Si Miss 22313010. Okay, sabi ng iba sa chat box, better knowledge. Okay? But for sure, majority of those who join the orientation is they are um searching or they want to change a career that would give them a better future, di ba? Or will mm -hmm. be giving them a greener pasture in the future. And of course, 
uh, one of, of the most in demand um, professions around the world is through healthcare. Okay, so you are on the right path if you are um, aiming to have a greener pasture or, a, of course, a um, good compensation for your job. So one of uh, the job that would give you that is the caregiving job. Okay, so if you can see here from the research, so one of the highest paid uh, professions around the world would be under healthcare. Okay, and we can say that caregiver has a good compensation around the world. And of course, it is very in demand. Okay, so most of the big continents like the UK, the America, uh, they are okay in need of caregivers. Okay. Imagine that if you are a certified caregiver and you will be landing for a caregiver job in the future, so you will be you will be getting an annual wage approximately on average, okay, of a twenty four thousand dollars. Okay, it will be more. That depends on the country. That depends on the position, and that depends on how, okay, or what would be your, okay, category as a caregiver. Okay, so a uh, very promising ang trabaho po na caregivers very promising in terms of compensation. Okay, so what are the perks of working as a caregiver or perks of having a caregiver career? So first is it has a flexible working hours. There will be a competitive pay. Ayan. Then less administrative work, diversified experiences. There, there's also an opportunity for growth. Okay, impactful job, high demand, and of course more on one-on-one -on -one time with your patients. So those are the usual perks of having a caregiver career. Okay, so that's why there are a lot of students that, okay. There are a lot of students that deciding to enroll to this course. If you can see here in the slides, these are only few of our graduate students who were able to finish their course, level three and level four of health and social care. Ayan. So they told that don't call it a dream, call it a plan. So future your uh, picture out yourself that maybe after nine months, after a year, you will be one of our graduates if you want to pursue your caregiving course yeah so these are the latest graduates that we had a, we had the graduation last um, october so this is our graduates for health and social care yeah so kontitignan niyo madami po so with this course we have a lot of graduates with the course of health and social care so if you can see we have different nationalities Okay, we have different nationalities who were able to graduate with health and social care course. Yeah. Okay, so these are these are aside from those students that are residing from Kuwait, we also have students coming from the other countries. These are our international students. We have from Bahrain, from Qatar, from Saudi, from Singapore, from Brunei. Okay, so we also have. Um, students uh, around the world, okay, or different countries, not just only those who are residing in Kuwait. Yeah, so those are the exact, those are our successful students that um, who finished their course. And, okay, so to give you a background on our um, curriculum provider about the health and social care. So uh, we are tied up or we are working together with the UK Qualify. Okay, So this is a curriculum body or awarding body that is located in UK who will be providing our curriculum for the health and social care course. So who is Qualify? So Qualify provides an academic and vocational qualifications that are globally recognized. So they are developed to be accessible to all learners in that they are available to anyone who is capable of attaining 
is a required standard. So, si Qualify po, this is the institution that awards our, sorry, that awards our diploma in health and social care. So, um, our curriculum is UK-based. Ayan. So, sa UK po nakabase yung uh, ano ng ating curriculum. Okay. So, why choose qualify uh, qualifications? So, qualify qualifications look to provide a realistic and broad opportunity for learners seeking career and professional development. So, the qualification will develop you, the learner, to apply analytical and evaluate techniques and to enhance those skills, to investigate issues and opportunities, develop your awareness and appreciation of managerial, organizational, environmental issues, use management techniques and practices in imaginative ways, make use of relevant information from different sources, and of course, other um, abilities or other programs that would help you enhance and improve your skills while you are enrolled with the curriculum. Ayan. Okay. okay. So, we are offering health and social care courses um, in two levels. So, we have po, um, level 3, Diploma in Health and Social Care. That would be giving you a 60 credits or sa iba, okay? Sa iba, ang, ano po, ang tawag nila dyan is 60 units. Okay? But for the uh, UK qualify, so we're calling it as credits. So, the uh, level 3 health and social care course is available online and also available face-to-face. -face. Then, we also have level 4, diploma in health and social care, that will also give you a 120 credits. So, both of the levels po will be... Um, is available, I mean, in online and face-to-face. -face. And we do offer for different schedules that depends on uh, which day are you available or um, what will be the schedule that will suit most your schedule. Okay? So, the uh, level 3 is usually for those who are um, undergraduate of high school or secondary level. And level 4, for it to be able to... Uh, um, enroll to level 4, you should be um, a graduate of secondary level or high school or pwede then you have finished your level 3 and you would want to continue level 4, so that would be okay. Yan. Okay. So, ayun po yung dalawang ating level 4 the health and social care course. So, this is an example of your diploma. Take note, the one that you'll be getting uh, from the UK Qualify is a Qualify, if you can see here, nakalagay po dyan, it's a Qualify Level 4 Diploma. It's not a Certificate. Okay? So, don't get confused of the Certificate of Achievement. Okay? it's This is just the header. But if you will be reading this, this is to certify that, then your name will be placed here, has been awarded the Qualify, whether it's Level 3 or Level 4 Diploma in Health and Social Care. So, diploma uh, doesn't have an expiration compared to the other vocational courses that they are only giving certificate that it is only good for two years, three years. But uh, this diploma doesn't have any expiry and it is recognized worldwide. Okay? So, aside from your diploma, you're also getting your TOR or your transcript of record reflecting all the modules that you have completed plus the grade that you have gained for those specific module. Um, the grade will not be numerical. It's more on descriptive. That's why you can see here in your grade, uh, you can see either pass, merit, or distinguish. Ayan. Uh, makikita niyo po, ganyan siya. So, it can be passed or it can be merit. That depends on your score or your grade for your assignment. Ayan. So, this example is a diploma and a TOR for level 4 health and social care course. Okay. So, how do we provide uh, learning? So, what is our delivery guidance? Okay. So, it is a combination for our, uh, it is blended because we have three to, uh, we have face to face. Okay. For the visual or the actual face to face at school. Okay. So, you'll 
be having your instructor, okay, the usual classroom type of learning. But for the online, you'll be having your face-to-face -face interaction with your instructor via Zoom. So it will be, it can be a twice a week or it can be a once a week Zoom class. Then you'll be having your, your um, self-directed learning to which you are going to study uh, at your own pace, at your own time. So where are you going to study? We have our own virtual learning environment or yung tinatawag po natin virtual classroom. Once you will be officially enrolled and you'll be starting your course, you will be uh, getting your password and your port and your username in the portal to which you can access all the learning materials for all the modules in your course. Okay, learning materials meaning you have your handouts, your video recording for every uh, lessons. Okay, so that, that is how we deliver uh, learning. So it's blended. Okay, so these are examples of uh, the students who are um, joining the online class. Ayan, kasi maybe you will be thinking online, parang ang hirap naman yata. But it's possible. These are the actual students who are enrolled to the online class class okay there are this is the time for their self-directed learning okay or their time to do the assignment to, <clears throat> to review their course uh, course modules yeah okay so uh for our virtual classroom this looks like uh this the type of virtual classroom okay you will be having your own username and password to be able to access the portal then the portal will be showing you all the modules that you need to complete. Then each module will be having a handout, a presentation, a video of the recorded lecture, as well as a video of the live class. Okay, For example, you were not able to attend your class on that day, so you can go back and you can watch again the lecture that happen on that day. Okay, so pwede yung balikan, pwede yung panoorin ulit, just in case absent kayo, the good thing for online classes is you can go back to your lessons or you can rewatch the live class even though absent ka nung time na yun. Ayan, so yan po yung ating mga, ayan uh, po yung ating virtual class or that is our um, virtual classroom. Okay, so for each uh, level, we have different numbers of modules that needs to be completed for you to be able to finish the course. So for level three, if you can see po dito, so we have um four mandatory units and we have three optional units. So for you to be able to finish the level three course in health and social care, you need to finish all these four mandatory units plus two in the optional units. So seven ang module, there are total seven modules, however, you only need to complete six. Four from the mandatory units and two from the optional units. So each module you need to attend and you need to pass an assignment as well as for quizzes and exams. Yeah, so this is for level three. But for level four, ayan, for level four, you have six unit. Uh, you have six modules. Okay. So aside from the modules that you have paid for your course, we are also providing you a free live lessons. Okay. When you say free live lessons, these are free. Okay. So this is not included in your payment, and these are lessons that would be very useful and ben very beneficial for you in your future course. So examples of our free lessons, ayan. So we have vital signs taking, lesson in vital signs taking, basic life support. And, uh, for the level four, we are adding uh, diabetes care, stroke care, dementia, and others. So we are also including some other free lessons that depends on the need and if if some students or batches will be requesting some topics that they would want to know, so we can add 
those lessons. Yan. Okay, so our practicals, uh, if you're online, you will not be having your OGT. It's not a mandatory for you to have an OGT. Okay, but if you wanted to, we have a home for the aged um, facility here in the Philippines that you are tied up with the school. So, depending po sa inyo, gusto nyo mag-OGT later on. Pero, it's not a prerequisite for you to uh, finish the course. Okay, so... This is one of our activity at school, the practical vital signs taking. Yeah. So online students can go to the school and conduct uh, this type of um, activities and uh, training skills. So aside from vital signs taking, you can also have the training on basic life support. Okay. But again, this one, you may do this uh, later on after the course. And it's not also a prerequisite to finish the course. But of course, as a healthcare professional, so being a life support provider is an edge for you in the future, especially if you're applying as a caregiver. Ayan. So the school also is having a tied-up um, program with a training center under American Heart Association who provides the basic life support training. Ayan. Okay. So how do we assess you? How we can say that you are um you are already qualified to have the diploma. Okay? So first is of course like a regular school you need to have quizzes, exams, but the mandatory or the bulk of your grade will be coming from the assignments. So each module requires one assignment. Okay? That you, that it needs to be submitted on time as well as you need to get a passing score. Okay, so assignments will contain, of course, uh, a question that strands for each of the given units learning outcome. Okay, so take note that your assignment is being graded on a one common rubric. The instructor will not just grade your assignment just in accordance to her preference. Okay. So, meron po tayong sinusunod na um, rubric form on how to grade your assignment. So, this is the actual rubric form on how do we give score on your assignment. Anyhow, once you'll be enrolled in our course, this will be tackled again by your instructor later on. Okay? But I just want you to give a overview on how do we score assignments. Yeah. Okay. So, of course, there is different criteria which falls with different um, scores. So, the passing is here on the basic. So, your score should be falling from 40 to 49, okay? But, of course, don't settle with the basic. If you can reach the excellent and distinguish, it would be better. Why? Because that will be uh, reflected to your transcript. Of course, if you have a good transcript, so, employment will be, of course, easier. And that will be a edge for you later on if you're going to search for a job. Diba? Pag maganda ang transcript nyo, o syempre maganda yun, maganda sa paningin nyo ng employer kung mag-apply ka ng trabaho in the future. Yan, okay? So, that's how we score your um, assignments. Yan. So, this is our schedule po for the um, classes. So, we have Friday, regular class, Sunday, regular class. We have special class. Special class, this is for those students who want to finish the course less than the required month. Okay? And you also have Saturday class. So, for further um, questions for the schedule and for the latest updates for the schedule, there will be some student uh, consultant or student assistant that would help you or you may contact our admin so that they can give you what's the updated schedule together with the dates and the time. Yan, okay? So, this is the schedule for the uh, online, eh, uh, the online, the one that I have showed you earlier, and this is the schedule for the face-to-face. -face. Okay? So, you have two options, the online and the face-to-face -face schedule. So, it's very flexible, di ba? Pwedeng pwede kung saan. Especially, majority of the students are working. So, online 
um, type of schooling is very convenient for us, yung mga working students. Ayan. Okay, so that is for the um, schedule. So you may select, especially for those uh, who are not residing uh, in Kuwait. So of course, you can avail for the online schedule. So um, we have schedules for both level 3 and level 4. Okay, usually our schedule is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Ayan. Okay, so I hope that we have presented our course um, well and clear. So what are you waiting for? So we are expecting you to be one of our member in the uh, health and social care course. And we are looking forward to seeing you uh, fulfill your dreams as a caregiver in the future. Okay? So if you have questions, clarifications, we will be having an open forum 